Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on a Sunday, September the 22nd, 2024. My my most uh, enjoyable day of the week, Sunday. Got me some new glasses. I could see a lot better than I than with the other ones. The other ones, for some reason, lost um, the you. I mean, the uh, the the filter from the sun. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. Got my some, some new glasses, wanted to show those off. And I just want to come on through and say, please, if you if you are understanding anything that I'm saying, saying to you, pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to the rhetoric, rhetoric that's being said in the background. These dog whistles. Pay attention to what happens, you know, you know, because crime is always that that um indoctrinating factor that gets people all worked up especially during the election season that you know they're talking about crime and um just so they can kind of keep you focused on other things uh, you know keep you distracted i should say and not have you be concerned about other things going on you know like the violence and the um and the um uh, the attempt to control women always is always about the biological woman, okay? And that is something that we need to just snap out of it and make sure we understand that it's always about the biological woman that's being suppressed and being and, and, and things are being taken away from her, the biological woman. And if anyone is paying attention, uh, that is always going on in the background. You know, you have men and women wanting to control biological women, okay? It doesn't just come from one side. It comes from all sides. It's that I want to control you and I want to make decisions for you as if we are not able to and not capable of making decisions of our own. Again, protect the biological woman to make her decisions whether they are a mistake or not, it ought to come from the biological woman. Because without the biological woman, there will not be a planet that exists. Okay, so pay attention to the rhetoric, the violent rhetoric going on out there. Pay attention to the, uh, the ongoing, continual uh, need to suppress women. And I'm telling you, it's coming from women and men. Not just from men, but women are involved in that suppression as well. Pay attention. All you do have to do is pay attention. And do not take for granted what anyone is saying to you without doing your research and saying, okay, well, why are they saying this or why are they saying that? I can tell you there are some powerful, quote, unquote, powerful women that are doing more harm or doing just as much harm to the biological woman than we believe is coming from just a biological man pay attention be realistic number one and know that a lot of it has to do with jealousy and envy okay it's jealousy and envy pay attention to how jealousy and envy can fester and come out in, in certain factors that none of us are not prepared for I can guarantee you that so it is about the biological woman and the protection of the biological woman because for centuries, for decades, for, mill for, for millions of years, the woman, the biological woman has been the target of all of this political stage, but it's covered up in, in these cloaking, usually religious connotations because some women want to be subjugated, believe it or not. Some women want to be submissive, believe it or not. And some women want to be subservient, believe it or not. They, they want to be walking behind a man instead of walking as, beside him or walking beside their partner, whether it's a man or a woman. Okay. So, and, and I know, I know, I know some, and I'm sure every one of us knows some that they have, they have no issues with their role of being subjugated and believing that only a man can lead them. Okay. That's, um, Illogical, if you think about that clearly and effectively, because it ought to not matter whether being led by a man or a woman. So a woman has just as much capabilities and power and, and abilities than a man to lead. Okay, a woman is usually the head of the household. At least she wasn't in, in our environment. 
my dad w- welcomed that because he could focus on providing for us and taking care of us. My mom was the head of the household, okay? So, and again, my dad was confident as a man, as a biological man, and that didn't bother him. Okay, so pay attention to the rhetoric. Okay, it's always about the woman. Okay, it's always about, it's in in my opinion as well, it's always about the suppression of uh, black women too. Pay attention to that. Okay, and again, pay attention to these seemingly, uh, uh, menu, you know, kind of um, uh, these kind of things that are happening that you may not understand the ramifications of it. Okay. This is serious, okay? And again, do not focus so much on one party or the other. Look at the big picture and realize that it's about the protection of the biological woman. Peace and love. And trust me, I will be back.